Hi, bye and welcome to a new episode. So, yeah, we just had some balls and now we're gonna go back home. But before that, let's see what this you have. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know, they've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms! Would it make more money than hunting bricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring! I get where you're coming from, but come on! Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm... No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Yes. Okay. What do you... Oh yeah, does this say? Let's see what you have to do. Oh, stuff. I mean, what do you did you say? Hmm. Why are you no blade or door? Really, I don't have nothing. Even fighting those monsters? Yeah, what to expect at the beginning of the game? Something blue. What does that mean? He's not a chest, he's a dog. Something around here. Who's that? Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this hard thing gameplay. This is my first Tales of Game, and yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get in use. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, 
Mom and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Easy said. You supposed to take us all the winter? And can you stop so I can off your eyes? Ah, oh, now I see. So weapon can have like So now I have fire. Something that I saw like two I guess Is that like a uh, Is there like uh, a auto? Look at her, how happy he is. Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean! See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah. No, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine. 
no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh. So cute. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Loffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Who is the like, that John out in the open? Like, you are asking. Okay. Like the other side of the house. This? It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet! There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Tiny. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. Was he I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? <laughs> uh, g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> What's wrong? Again, this is like really uh, ironic when we're gonna see like, can you stop doing that? Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Oh, my dear, she's gonna... Why are you disappearing? Can you stop doing that? What do I was doing? Oh yeah, the cooking. What do I...
good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. So many red flags. <laughs> 